Hello guys, Tommy Fart67 here, and today we're drawing Buzzard. Now, as you probably know, it's kind of quiet during my videos. If if there's like, if you hear this wind blowing noise, it's the fan. Right now it's um, 40 degrees, so that's pretty hot even for me. And like, I'm not I'm not like talking during me drawing, yeah. This is pre-recorded, uh, not pre-recorded, like after-recorded, like. So, like, if it's a bit ramshackles, then you know why. Okay, so um, as you all know, I completed the Atomic Nation project, and um, well, basically, um, the second bit's kind of um shitty. You can blame technical software glitches and all that shit. Because the best thing is, I didn't even do any of that, um, I didn't do any of the voices for that bit. Somebody else did that voices for that bit, and basically they fucked up big time. Because there is no noise whatsoever during part 2, between the minutes 24.47 and 30.41. And basically that bit's full of the romance shit and all that crap. And um, you may notice the large amount of um, ponies in the Atomic Nation project. That's because I had a bunch of fucking Paul Equestria writers working on it as well. Basically they sent me some shit and everyone else sent me some shit. And basically that's how the Atomic Nation project was made. Basically, me cramming everything together into just one giant story since 2015. It's finally been released, like... For fuck's sake. As I was saying, it's finally been released. So, um... Basically, like, everyone who was working on it, yeah, I've either chosen to stay or chosen to leave. And, um... It's like, a few people stay in but like the rest have left like 99 percent is left anyway um buzzard was um i made that character and it was basically locked in xr2 facility which is basically a giant bunker and this like bunker was um meant to house the convicts and people that have been captured and experiments and whatnot. It's based off um SCP the video game with the guards and the monsters and whatever else. Yeah. And the XR2 facility is based off that. Also um the Atomic Nation project is finished and like those people who have chosen to stay want to continue it on but most of them are from the um i don't know like apocalyptic fan fiction people so basically um back to a question where we go <laughs> and basically they worked on the through that question thing so basically they want to continue it onwards they also recognise that I haven't killed off um, three of the main six this is Fluttershy uh, Rarity and Twilight or well, like I don't know what to do with those but like keep them out see what happens might kill off one or two um and there's four elements yeah they're still around so I'll, I'll show like four of them up on the screen now and these are like rough concept work things so like this might look like this or it might change dramatically these are just like the first designs that came out of my head okay so like moving on we got um 
the um, IRSAF and that's basically the Independent Red Skulls Air Force and if you're wondering what IRS stood for it's Independent Red Skulls so there you go <laughs> at the time I didn't know what to call it and this name was from uh, 2015 so like, I, might, I might as well keep it but like IRP didn't sound really easy to roll off the tongue so we stuck with IRS even though the logo is poor <laughs> and um we kept with the poor so basically that my channel logo is the IRS logo which is very fucking lazy <laughs> um you know all the uh, main factions have been either killed off or joined into the RRS basically the, um my poor got a rather than steel logo in the middle of it that's because they were the first faction we went to well based off them anyway <laughs> and um basically with the introduction of Fallout 4 it just got ever so more popular basically we stole we stole shipping everything we can think of and the axiom from Disney film Wally we took that as well and basically um it got invaded and then redesigned or something like that <laughs> it's still it's still like rot in somewhere but like it's mostly scrap um I don't know if I already talked about Flourish Irary in Twilight. Uh, I think I have, I'm not quite sure. This is what happens when you don't script things. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so it's like we got a shit ton of fucking full out of question writers. None of them want to go back to the fucking the Mojave Wasteland. Despite most of it being taking place in that area ish Might be might be not but most of it's fucking bombed anyway um, We got this idea from what they wrote down ages ago basically which is um, Hellhounds own Ponyville and they're basically like Own it and not even a raiders want to go there so uh, I'm thinking about putting this character in, I don't know, a church or a basement somewhere. Why a church? Because hellhounds are from hell, obviously. <laughs> obviously. So um, if we put them in a church, they might be protected, but I don't think that'll happen. Um, I'm thinking about introducing some more cyber dogs, but not naming these cyber dogs because I don't know what to name them yet I'm going to use some old characters but most of them will be killed off during that assault which I think already happened anyway um, we didn't actually kill Lunar or the Storm King or anyone really um, we only killed off a couple and they weren't even killed killed until they just died of wounds It's King Sombra, and that took a lot longer than you'd think. Okay, so I'm um, we're making this new project called the Nations Divided Project. It's going to be set in Nevada, but it'll obviously be starting off in Equestria because all of my writers are from Fallout Equestria. Fallout Equestria. So the people I think that are actually dead dead are um Alright, I know who's dead and know who's not dead. Um I know Claus was dead dead because he got shot in the head. Uh Celestia and her guards, most of them anyway, are dead dead. I made sure of that anyway. 
Yeah, I got a guy got thrown up. Um, um, Applejack's dead because he was cut by Lucario <laughs> with a sword, I think. Pinkie Pie was ripped apart by um, a sentry droid, something like that. Um, Ah, Rainbow Dash was killed by, um, Celestia. She yeah, she blew up, uh, him up, or her, uh, her up. Fucking, I don't understand Rainbow Dash. It, it looked, to me, for, like, the first, my first opinion on it was, like, I thought this was a male. Turns out it's a female. So, yeah, that's, um, really confusing for me. Mm, second off, um... I do know, um, Scratch, Scratch is definitely lived, that's for sure, he, he got through Stargate and lives, although we didn't show it, um, alright, I was on, the IRSAF is, um, I think I already explained it, I'm not sure, um, if we um basically it's made from first all right so Janellis Air Force Base in the origin uh for New Vegas yeah we took the boomers and the boomers had bombers and B-19s of whatever it's called basically we took those planes made the first RSAF joined up with the Brotherhood and the Enclave salvaged the vertebrates and then vertebrates were added to the RSAF I think the uh, dragons from Dragon's Riders Burke they were either killed clo uh, cloned basically like their DNA is that basically they were killed, the DNA was taken, and they were made dragons or clone dragons. I don't know. Basically, they were these sipping dragons, you know, dragons. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about myself. Um, basically, these dragons would attack. I don't know, <laughs> just give me slack. Um, I think, what else, um, I think some of the Monsoonos were, um, we had two types of griffins, the wasteland griffin and the equestrian griffin, the wasteland griffin led the um, IRS and that was, the first wasteland griffin is, um, Scratches, I think. Scratches is the uh, leader of the RSAF. I think. Not quite sure. Anyway, Scratches is the leader of the RSAF. And, um. Leads the whole of the RSAF. Um. And, um. The question griffins were basically when we went to Equestria and took over. Basically, it occurred after changelings, but yeah. Um, some Pokemon in there as well. I don't know, like Charizard and Wing Dings. No bloody clue what any Pokemon's names are that have wings, but I'll make some up <laughs> to go along. That grasshopper thing with wings. Um, yeah, anyway. These are question griffins. Or some Part of... Griffinstone 
and basically we picked him up from Griffinstone and they hated everything and yada 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 a bit like a depressed emo teen or something like that basically we picked him up and put him into the RSAF to fight against Celestia's army Celestia's army was um um yeah the fuck Celestia's army is destroyed by those, some of the griffins anyway, um, Cloudsdale's attacked but, I don't know, like, some of it survived, Cantalot is basically ignored, um, I think it's New Cantalot Republic, I don't know, it's off the top of my head what I was told, New Cantalot Republic, New Lunar Republic, I believe the Sunrise Empire is destroyed because Celestia owned it. Storm King Empire. Um, what's its face? Uh, Zeb. Uh, the. Is it Shadow Zebra or something like that? I don't know. Shadow Zebra, uh, hang on. Anyway, um, the question Griffins. They are, um, originally from Griffinstone and picked up by IRS, moved to Griffin's Edge. Um, Anyway, these griffins will learn how to use guns, be fitted with IRS armor, put into IRS stuff, drilled tactics, used by flight squads and yada yada yada, you know, shit like that. Eventually they will become... IRSAF Griffins, also known as the Equestrian RSAF. Anyway, like Cloudsdale, yeah, we we like basically attack that. But the weather station, which I recently found out was called the Rainbow Factory or some shit like that, that would make um. I'll basically be attacked or some shit like that in by the RSAF. Um, these four element things being released like high voltage, death wing, fire tornado, and darkness lion. They make no sense right now, but it'll be easier and you know, you know them when you see them basically. And it'll be sent basically, um, it'll focus on reclaiming those four elements. Might shove in, I don't know, basically, um, at this current moment in time, I have no clue what my writers are writing, but I have received a lot of equestria stuff so the first bit would be about that or either to show all the dead people I don't know I'm gonna introduce like a dead Michael Bay film or some shit like that or a suicide squad or some shit all the dead people and um most of these dead people will include miscellaneous characters characters that are left the, the names can be written down to soon anyway um nations divided well it's exactly how you sound basically if the stargates are shut down what would happen well for starters none of the forces on the front lines will get any supplies or anything 
and nations are split up, troops will go savage, no order, you know, stuff. Um, I'm not sure about Zootopia because it's a crumbling mess at the moment, so I'm just going to stay far away for it at the moment. And that's all I know at this precise moment in time. Like, we set an estimation date for the first of the first of 2020, but obviously that's not going to happen, is it? Like, if you want to I know, join or whatever, just DM me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, comment section, whatever. Those who haven't said they're leaving, I'll automatically assume they're in. I know that some people have either taken on new usernames and don't want anything to do with this project anymore. And I don't blame them because it's now fucking a question based bullshit. And that's slightly putting it. <laughs> but it will go back to the wastelands eventually <laughs> but but to do that we got to do um a stargate collapse and that's really difficult because these stargates are supposed to be very rare and takes it's like a death star it's very weak and takes a long time to build <laughs> and we do own a death star as well we own the entire Imperial fleet. Don't ask how, we just do. <laughs> um, yeah. At this, is it, uh, at this moment in time, I don't know anything else apart from it's going to be heavily equestrian based. And we got a lot of fucking Fallout equestrian writers. And if you don't know what that is, it's basically a combination of Fallout and NLP shoved into one. And that's why somehow they were drifted. They were drifted over to the Extermination Project. Don't ask that, I don't know. Like they thought Fallout. They thought fucking atomic nation and I automatically assume is to do with one of their projects or some shit like that and it automatically sign up or some shit uh, and additionally I was also like in their fucking amino for a while so that might have something to do with it I'm not quite sure clipping we'll see what happens because at this moment in time I don't know what the fuck's going on like I've got seven chapters and most and like only two of them are not set in the question <laughs> and these are like ginormous ass scripts like a hundred lines per chapter or even more so yeah I don't know what's happening but the project's a bit fucking equestrian involved a bit. But I don't want it to go down that route, but it's going down that route. So, um, I'll, I'll figure out a way to, um, stop it going down that route. Um, without losing any more members. Um, the fucking Facebook group only has three members in it at the moment. <laughs> So you do know it's falling apart pretty fast. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to talk about. So, um, enjoy the rest of this video, I suppose. Just back to that plain old silence. Anyway, like if you did, if you did like want to have it as quiet, just like turn your volume down or something like, you know, normal stuff. If you if you don't want to hear anything like this, just stick some music on in the background. You know, stuff. I don't know any of this stuff. <laughs> 
I don't know what you do in the background flipping. Oh, I also got a comment from somebody. Draw naked furries. Well, yeah, I'd love to. I have done in the past. <laughs> but the thing is, yeah, I don't want to put this on YouTube because this will get taken down in five seconds flat. <laughs> like, if I could put it up there, I would. But it would affect something, wouldn't it? So I won't. Nah, no, seriously, no, I won't put it up on YouTube because I don't want this channel to get removed. I, I own this name and this fucking pool. I ain't gonna lose it all now. <laughs> you, you might find something on Facebook or Tumblr or some shit now and then, but not on YouTube's.
This is Buzzard. I've been on Atomic for about six, seven. Thank you for watching. Atomic. 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 Atomic Fallout 67.